Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for being here for another video and if you are new, please subscribe down below. I want to start off this video by apologizing for not posting last week. That was a little irresponsible for my part, but I did get a little sick so it threw my schedule off for a loop, but now everything's back on track and I will hopefully be posting consistently moving on in the future. So now to the purpose of today's video. I bought throughout the week or last week or two, I bought um, items, beauty items from different stores and I wanted to share that with you guys as a little haul and just show you how much I paid, what I got and what stores I do go to whenever I am on a budget. And the reason I want to share this with you guys is because being a 24 year old that is still in college and does not have my career quite yet, um, sometimes it is very difficult to buy higher end products or products that I really want because they are more expensive. So these are just the places that I go when I'm on a budget and you know when I'm looking for something that maybe I can't get with that higher price tag. Also, I apologize if you guys do hear noise in the background. I do have a dog and he's just kind of all over the place, even though I tell him to stop, sometimes doesn't listen. So without further ado, let's move on into the video. Okay, you guys, everything's a little mixed up. They are from different stores, but I will be telling you guys where I got them and how much I paid for them. So I'm going to start with the least exciting things and just kind of build up to the most exciting and um the first thing that i'm gonna share with you guys it's a little messed up because i already opened it it's kind of a basics that everybody needs and i do recommend that you guys do go to marshall's to get socks if you guys are like me i lose my socks all the time so i do not like to pay a high price tag for socks because i do know that it is very difficult for me to keep track of them and I always need to be buying new ones. So I paid $4.99 for these and these are aerosols and they are a 10 pack of just plain black socks. So if you guys are in the market for socks, I do recommend that you guys um, go to Marshalls or a Ross and do pick yourself out some socks because they are a very good deal. And you know, black socks, they just come in handy for everyone. So moving on, let's see. The next thing I got that I'm very excited about is this wonderful little head cut, excuse me. Sorry about that brief interruption there. Like I said, the dog messing with the bags and it was just gonna cause a lot of noise. I had to figure that situation out. But moving on, what I was mentioning is this little fluffy pink headband that I'm very excited about. As of lately, I have really start, started taking my skincare routine seriously, which I wasn't doing before, but my skin did get very out of control. Not exactly sure what it is. I haven't went to a dermatologist, but I do get redness and dryness and flakiness. And there are flare outs just depending on what I put on my face. So with that being said, I'm very sensitive with what I put on my face and I was afraid to get a skincare routine because something maybe would cause it to get worse or, you know, that being said. But I think I have found something that is working for me as of right now. But I am open to trying new things. So if you guys have any suggestions, leave it down below and I will be happy to try it, especially if you have a similar skin type like me. It would be very interesting to see what you guys use. But I got this headband for the purpose of when I am doing my skincare routine, I can put my hair back and it won't get in my way because if you guys do have a skincare routine, you know that that can be very frustrating. So this was on clearance it was $3.99 and it was on clearance for $3.99 not the biggest difference but it is a really beautiful headband and $3 I mean it was already inexpensive to begin with so um I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this moving on the next product I have is not the most exciting like I did say I've been taking care of my skin a lot more so I've been wanting to try new products especially ones that are for sensitive skin so I did pick this up right here I picked this one up from Ross if I haven't said the last two products were from Marshalls and this is from Ross right here 
and this is the St. Ives Gentle Soothing Oatmeal Scrub and Mask. And the reason I wanted to try this is because it does say it's gentle and it is um, soothing. And that is something that I very much do look for in my skincare products, especially with the condition that I have on my skin. I have had very good luck with St. Ives before. I have used their apricot scrub and that was very good for my skin as well. Um, so I'm very looking forward to trying this. I know that this isn't that expensive as a whole. You can find this at a drugstore, but you can find a little bit of a better deal, just a few dollars here and there at a Ross or a Marshall. So I got this for $2.99 at Ross and I'm very excited to try this. Also, you guys, um, I do have another skincare product, but just a note here, um, if you guys do down the road want to know what is my skincare routine, if you guys do have similar skin to me and you have similar issues, I would be more than happy to make a video like that. So if you guys do want that, please leave a comment down below. Okay, so moving on to the next thing. Seems like I have a lot of skincare. Did not realize that. But next thing is this, the Creme Shop Face Mask. I did see somebody else here on the YouTube community talking about how the creme face masks were very good and they were very inexpensive. So I saw this one and this was the one that I was most excited about. So I figured that I would give it a shot and see how they work. So this one has cranberry, papaya extract, vitamin C, avocado oil, hyaluronic acid, blueberry extract, and retinol all in one mask so i guess that's why they call it the rainbow mask and then on the back it kind of gives you i know you guys won't be able to read that but um it tells you what every ingredient is and what the purpose is of it for your skin so i thought that this was very interesting because it did have a lot of different things for your skin and i thought that they would be wonderful to try and it is very inexpensive this was 3.99 if you guys can see that um for three masks, which I thought it was a very good deal. And since they are inexpensive, I thought I would give it a try and see how I feel about this brand and then maybe in the future purchase some more from this brand. So I'm very excited about this. So the next thing I have is makeup, finally. <laughs> Getting to the good stuff, right? So this is a makeup palette from Makeup um, from Revolution Pro. I don't, not Makeup Revolution, just Revolution Pro. And this is the Regeneration Transasur. And this was $4.99 at Marshalls. And it looks like this. I really just wanted it for the two shades called New Planet and Element, which are like the marbled shades in the palette. Of course, I don't know how exactly that's going to apply. It's just going to look like a, like a solid shade, obviously, when you put it on the eye. But I thought it did look very beautiful. And it does have those blues and like maybe more like peachy colors. So it is more overall neutral, but it has those bold colors that you can use to make a bold look. Or you can keep it neutral if you would like. They did have a lot a lot of these at marshall so if you guys are looking for a makeup palette that is budget friendly they did have so many of these they had bolder ones maybe more neutral ones that were really just more browns and um i think that there is a fit for everybody for a very low price so if you guys want to see a tutorial using this palette that is budget friendly please leave a comment down below i cannot stress that enough and i will really appreciate it and we will do that so I have two more things. It was a little small haul, but um, I did want to share it with you guys because I know sometimes um, you guys might want to know where to get these items and build your collection if you're looking to build or just for an everyday product. So the next thing I have is this Clarence Paris Extra Comfort Toning Lotion and it looks like this. I was very, very excited about this product. It says it has aloe vera. It is alcohol-free dry, for dry or sensitized skin, which describes my skin to a T. So I know you guys, were, you know, when you guys find items like that, you're like, I need that. And that's how I felt about this. And I was going to purchase it regardless. But when I saw the price, I was like, are you sure? Are you sure that, it, that that's what it costs? Because it's Clarins. It's not the cheapest thing. So this was $2.99 at Ross. And um, 
it used to be $12.99 for what it says here and that's a $10 difference and I was like okay that's cool I will I will definitely try this for $2.99 so I'm very excited to try this on my skin because aloe is something that has been helping my skin with my flare-ups so using a product that has aloe and is a toning um, product will be something very new to introduce to my skincare and hopefully it will really help my skincare routine and excited about that all right you guys the last thing is probably the thing that i'm the happiest about not necessarily because it's hard to get on a budget just because there is a big price difference and it is a brand that is very well known and that is too faced oh wait i guess i had two products excuse me <laughs> this this product is bare minerals and it's a gin nude matte liquid lip color in the shade scandal and this i got at marshall's and it was $4.99 and this is just like a nude shade i picked out a nude shade because it's like something that i would use every day and for $4.99 it's a very good deal and bare minerals is another brand that is very well known as well so that's one thing but getting to what I was talking about, Too Faced, obviously it's a very well-known brand, it's a big brand, it's a higher-end brand, and it is very wonderful to see their products at stores like TJ Maxx and Marshalls because not everybody can afford the price tag of Too Faced when you go to a Sephora or a Ulta. So what I got is the Tutti Frutti Twinkle Twinkle Liquid Glitter Eyeshadow, and it looks like that, the packaging. And this was, uh, um, it, the price tag came off, but it was $5.99. And I was very excited about this because I do really love Too Faced. Like their products have been very good, I feel like, consistently for the most part. So this is something that I was really looking forward to. And I got this in the shade Sweet Pot. And let me pull it out for you guys. And the packaging looks like this very beautiful packaging. Too Faced never fails with their packaging. And it's just a gold liquid um, eyeshadow, which is what I tend to go for whenever it's going to be like a glitter. Because I'm not very bold with my glitters. I do want to try to be a little more bold, but I figured for my first time trying something like this, a gold is probably a better option. So if you guys can see that, it's probably going to be hard, but it's just a, it's just a gold liquid eyeshadow and it looks, it looks very beautiful. So I'm very much looking forward to trying that. But with that being said, that concludes this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it and seeing the budget friendly items that you can get at stores like Marshalls or Ross and you guys should check out your local Marshalls or Ross and see if you guys can find any deals that you guys can share with me down below. All right, you guys, that concludes this video. I wanted to thank you guys for staying tuned and watching this video, and I hope you guys really did enjoy it. Um, I wanted to just put it out there. I really, um, if you guys want to see me try any of these products, if you guys want to see any certain videos, please, please, please leave a comment down below. Do not be shy because I really do want to know what you guys want to see on this channel so we can grow together and I can put the content that you guys want out there. So please do not be shy. Comment what you think about this haul, what products you want me to try on this channel, or video ideas of things you guys want to see, anything. I would really appreciate it. So please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and I will see you guys next time. Bye.